Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is the Stock Swoosh Show Live. Melissa Armo here talking about the play of the day, which is a &F. Got up this morning, looked at this, and actually I anticipated this. I have to come up with what I'm going to call when I predict something that's going to gap uh, because I had an instinct that this would actually gap today and that it would gap down. And I had an instinct it would be a good one, which it was. Uh, so I've got to come up with a word for that. But I did say in this live training room this morning that this was an NCOF. So that's exactly what it was. And I said, well, why are we even looking at anything else? This actually moved $2 from my entry call. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. I'm really, this is just, I'm really, really, really good at what I do. I guess that's why I have no tolerance when people question me. Like when people ask me crazy questions, I have, I just, I don't even want to answer them anymore. I'm not going to. I just decided and I'm, I'm, I'm no longer answering any crazy questions anymore because I'm too good of a trader and too good at what I do to even acknowledge crazy people. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> so this opened, boom, held. I said, wait, 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 wait. And then we did it. And it fell off a planet. <laughs> and so look at that. I mean, you know, honestly, I did. I said the dream target was 19. Realistic target 20. It actually basically got to the realistic target. 2037 time of the day. But I said 19 was a dream target. And I did say $20 was a realistic target. And this is before the open. I didn't know exactly where it would open and where it would set up. Uh, this was not an ideal setup in here, though. I'll tell you that much. This is this was not exactly ideal. And when I went back and looked at all the gaps today, actually there were a lot of things that had crap setups. So I made a good call in this because, you know, if the stop had been over here, the risk to reward would have been the same. So I made a great call in this by calling it here with a tight, 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 tight stop at 65. And that held and it was right. It was the right call. Uh, but you know, it wasn't really ideal in the setup. I mean, I knew that when I was watching it, but I had a high level of conviction in the gap. One person I talked to yesterday, I forget who it was, I talked to the person on the phone and they said they watched the video where I did the HPQ. It was one of the days when I taped the room. And he said that I, you know, was, couldn't believe how aggressive I was with the way the stock rallied. Same thing here today with this, actually, because this is, this is not a small rally here at all. I mean, this is actually big. This might have failed and not worked. But in any event, it's because of the gap rating system. And, and that's how I can even do something like this at all on a one-minute chart. I mean, to take something at all that gaps down short on a one-minute chart I mean, this is, you know, you have to know what you're doing. I mean, this is why I tell people don't trade gaps, and you know, unless you know what you're doing. And most people out there, actually, the trade gaps don't know how to trade them right. They don't. Uh, it is not one of these things that is simple unless you learn it. Like for me, it's simple for me now because I'm doing it for seven years, and obviously I know what I'm looking for. And if you take the class, you'll know what to look for too, so then it becomes easier for you as well. But if you don't know what to look for, it's challenging because you see a rally like this or other rallies like the HPQ in the open, and then you think it's going to lift or fill the gap. Uh, but in this case, it didn't. And what told me it, you know, it was good was the rating. So it always goes back to the rating. Now, Braulio did ask me in the room this morning, how did I know this was NCOF? That's neither here nor there, okay? When I, if you're in the room with me, that's the, that's the one benefit of being in the room with me. Because if you're not in the room with me, you're not going to know that. If, you're in, if you take the class and you sign up for the class, you're going to learn everything you need to know to, to trade, to take the entries and rate the gap. And if it's 20 points or more for the 26-point rating system, you just do it. But if you're in the live room with me, you get an extra added bonus because I look and read the market live every day, which I'm very good at and most people are not good at that. So you get that added bonus as well. You get my ratings, which I put in order, and that's another bonus. So for example, of the things I looked at today, I did watch two things, A and F and the fast, but A and F was the better one, and that's the benefit of being in the room, that you would get my top pick, my extra, extra, extra uh, eye to look at something and say, 
absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. Why are we even looking at anything else? You know, you get that added bonus of being in the room with me. But you could have done fast and AF today. And actually, I did do both. But this was the better one of the two. And uh, if you were in the room, you could have done them all. I mean, today was a great day in the room. I actually lost internet connection. I did not tape the room today. If I had, I would have lost the recording anyways because I lost internet. So I am apologize to the people that were in the room this morning. Uh, until I got back up and got back on in the room, half the people were gone because I had to reboot. But uh, it was a nice day in the room. It was another solid, solid day in the room with every call I made. And honestly... Yeah, I'm just not going to acknowledge crazy people's questions anymore because I'm just too good, you know. And you either believe me or you don't. I don't know what else to say. You trial the room. You see how I train. You you see me do it live and you decide you want to learn from me or you miss an opportunity. Because learning from me and learning my rating system is an opportunity. There's no one else out there that trades gaps like me. And I don't think there ever will be, actually. Because this is very complex. And it is a very sophisticated way to trade. And that's one of the reasons why you can make a lot of money doing it. A lot of people don't want to put the time and energy into figuring something out in the amount of detail that I did. One person asked me, does it take a long time to figure out the points? No. If you're new, it'll take you longer than if you're doing it for a while. It could take you a little five to six minutes to go through and rate one thing, but you're not rating 50 things every day. You're getting a watch list together and you're rating that. And again, I only look in one directional bias, which is usually the downside. I like to do shorts. Point of fact, A and F. Look at how this fell hard this morning very, 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 very quickly. And I'm not saying that you can't do longs and get quick long moves. You can. But I'm saying this fell out of the sky. Very quickly. And by the time 945 rolled around, you were already up in this beautifully. Look. Mm -mm. And by the time this whole thing fell around here, you got basically the whole move in the morning. Now, I'm not saying you can't reshort this again today. Am I going to do that? No. No, I wouldn't. Could it still go to $20 or break $20? Oh, so yeah. Yeah, it absolutely could. This thing is really good. And it could still actually do that today. It has to have the perfect setup, though, in the afternoon at the right time of the day. It doesn't need the market, but if you did this with me this morning and you made money in this this morning and you did the fast and made money in that too, I'd leave it be today if you were in the room with me. But this could set up in the afternoon. So it was a beautiful call that I made, one of a million that I've been making. And uh, great job, everybody who did it with me. I'm sorry I lost internet connection today. And it was one of these things where, you know, you rely on other things sometimes when you trade, the internet your platform to work, your charting system, the broker. You have a lot of things you have to rely on. Sometimes you have a hiccup. You got to roll with it. Uh, luckily, I had gotten all the entries and all the calls and everything, and I lost the internet late. Uh, but, you know, it's one of those things where you just you have to rely on certain other things when you're trading. To the systems have to be in place. And uh, we're getting a storm here in New York, so I think that's one of the reasons why I had the internet problem. But I'm back up here. I will look to go at it again tomorrow. I have no idea where we're going to get. I didn't even look at the watch list for tomorrow, for Thursday and Friday. But I'm going to close the week out strong this week. Nice, nice, solid day today. And I actually predicted this because I said yesterday, we're going to get something really, really good this week. I know it. We're going to get a good one. We're going to get a really good one. We're going to get a big one this week. I know it. Here. We got it today. And actually, there were two things today. But this was the big one. So there you go. Beautiful $2 move from my entry. Call. And $20 was a real target. Again, it didn't get there, but it could still this afternoon. Uh, targets are areas. It still was a $2 move. Dream target was 19 and I didn't know for sure if it would get there. I didn't say that today, but I put it in the room. And uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gap in a Got to know what to look for when you train. You have to have 100% conviction. If you don't know what that is, then that's one of the other reasons to take my class. And I don't take a trade unless I have 100% conviction in anything that I do. I don't take a trade if I feel 50-50. I'll just will pass or won't do anything in the day. And this is another great reason why you have to actually pass on days when things aren't good. Because you will, you will, you will do better if you take quality trades where you get a move like this. And then if you see one that isn't good, you don't do it. The idea is to make money. I love to make money. I don't like to lose, but I want to make money. And so that means I have to be very, very picky with what I do. And I am. But when I get it, I say the market just gives it to me. Just, just just fell right into my lap today, and we did it, and it was a great call. 
So if anyone would like to sign up for the Golden Gap course for March, it's this weekend, March 7th and 8th. I will teach you how to trade bearish professional gaps in the manner that I do to be able to rate these gaps to determine if they rate accordingly to my system, 20 points or more for the 26 point system to know if you should short a gap on a day. I also teach the entries like I call in the room, target, support, resistance, the whole nine yards. And I teach the stock swoosh, uh, which is something to play that I created and made up in the market myself as well. Got to be aggressive on these, though, if you like them. It really paid today for a and F. I don't think anybody got a better price than we did in this. A great job, everyone that was in the room with me. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trade. And good job if you did two things today. It was a nice, nice day, whether you held it or got out of it. Wherever you, wherever you got out of it today, it was a nice day if you did both these things. We'll look to repeat the same thing tomorrow, and we'll go from there. And it's only March, what, 4th. Good start to the month. Good start to the month here. If you'd like to sign up for the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.